Hey, peace world. Thanks for pressing play on another Pay Me No Mind sports and entertainment video. My name is Wood. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm, I'm almost, I'm on the cusp of 900, which is phenomenal for me personally as, as an individual goal. So I appreciate all of the, the, the recent uh, new subscribers. Also, if you like the way any topics or subjects are being broken down and or analyzed or discussed, analyzed or discussed, uh, definitely hit that like button or leave a comment. I'd love to chop it up with you. Um, this isn't really like my full review of uh, Insecure. This episode eight, uh, low 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 key happy. I think low key is the theme. Um, it's more of a reaction. Um, and also some quick, quick, uh, housekeeping. I had been speaking of this season as only having eight episodes and like this was the finale and I hate to give out incorrect information on my channel. So, uh, I was wrong. Uh, it looks like there's going to be 10 episodes this year. I don't think that's been the case in the past, but, um, it looks like there is an episode nine and I believe also an episode 10. So I think that's extremely, uh, extremely dope for fans, for fans of the show. Um, wow, this, this episode kind of moved me. So a couple of things, so a couple of things here is, um, with happy, with the episode happy. Oh, and shout out to, uh, the other shout out was, uh, to Natasha Rothwell, who plays Kelly. She wrote this episode. Um, I thought the dude last week really did a great job in writing that one. That episode, uh, what was that, Low Key Trippin', I think. Um, I think that was Jason Liu was the writer's name. I, I, think, I thought Natasha did a, a fantastic job here, and I'll get into it. My notes were uh, personal happiness and that personal happiness affects the relationship's health between two individuals. Uh, also, my second point was their relationship is I love the way I love how their relationship is being explored. Uh, the quietness of the dinner talk, the art walk, uh and I know we've all chosen our sides to this point. Maybe not so much in season three. Maybe, eh, but it's been Team Lawrence and Team uh, Issa, and Lawrence is this and Lawrence is that, and then Issa's trash. But I like the way that they're fleshing this thing out, and I'll get into that to why. And then also my third point was a lot of us get the bedroom. A lot of us in these relationships, I've been married. It'll be 17 years in, um, in, in August, mid-August. Yeah, mid-August. And um, a lot of us get the bedroom right. A lot of these relationships get the, the bedroom right. We struggle with the other 23 hours and 50 minutes or 55 minutes or 59 minutes, whatever your prowess in that area is. <laughs> um, but this personal happy, happiness effect on uh, the health of the relationship. I really like how they talk through that. When we met this pair, when we met this couple, um, it's, it's funny to see where they've come. And how they uh how they're dressing right now, what they've achieved, what their wor how their worldview has changed. Um what's uh Lawrence says a couple of times, like he knows himself now. Man, she he was like, I thought I, I love that whole discussion right there. I felt like I had to be a leader because that's what I was supposed to be saying. And he was like, Man, I'm really great at I'm I'm really a great teammate. And I've said that myself. I hope for a lot of people, I hope that they're seeing themselves in these characters and in the and in this this storyline. Uh, it's really a shame when uh art and the content that you that we watch really doesn't capture us in it. Uh, music. I said tribe called quest for me. 
I saw a lot of what they were talking about. I saw me in that or the way that I looked at the world. And it was awesome to have them there at that moment in my life. So I hope for younger people. I hope you're seeing yourself in, in, in some of these storylines. But but Lawrence says, um, you know, man, I, I was trying to be this and trying to be that. And now I'm I'm really good with doing something else. I think that's a, a man. And he said, you know, he, he was laying around watching her to go to work. He didn't like himself. This really killed the relationship, you know, a lengthy relationship between these two. What's my time? Okay. Um, their relationship is being explored. The quietness of this dinner talk, I thought, was super dope. Uh, the art walk. Um, and I and with, the, with that dinner talk, it, it was two very honest moments. Well, it was one very honest moment right there. Uh, Lawrence, fine after four or five times of being asked, what did you want to talk about? He asked, you know, why Daniel? And I found myself there. It's, it's a point in time when you're trying to be what you are in these different relationships in your life with your, with your partners. He's tried to run the streets with Jay. I mean, with Chad. He's tried to be out here with new relationships and doing his own thing and, you know, running through a few partners and whatnot. And all of that stuff is really not filling a void. And, and and not uh it's not it's not giving him any sense of satisfaction or gratification and he gives he get he gives this relationship a chance for them to he 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 has the courage to maybe create the opening to see and he says you know I maybe I gave up on stuff too easily I thought that was just dope and then before they ended the uh the dinner scene when the camera zooms in on uh on Issa as she's kind of saying her last little bit. Uh, I, I thought it, I, I love the seriousness of this episode and, and Rothwell worked in some comedy in the right moments as well. Um, then the art walk. And remember, they couldn't even afford to do anything back in the day. Now they're having a night out uh, at a nice restaurant. He's picking up the check. Uh, you know, they, they're ordering more, you know, bigger uh, entrees. Like, she ordered, uh, you know, the hors d'oeuvres, the main entree, like, you know, four-course meal and everything. So, it's just interesting to see where this this couple has come, um, having some time to get out in the world and in, having some success and some achievement individually. Uh, like I said, it's creating a way more healthier level of relating to one another and then um also my last point a lot of us get the bedroom right that was a little moment of suspense the whole thing we're like well where the hell is all of this going how do they end this night and then they have the uh, text messages coming in from condola and whatnot but um how are they going to end this night and so, you know, they get back to Lawrence's crib and I should have started. Did the Uber, did the Uber driver or the Lyft driver, did he, did he ever go home? <laughs> did he ever leave? Or was that the woman? Might have been the, the woman that was out there. Um, but she stays the night. She has her moment of honesty where she has to really listen to her heart. I think it's her heart. But she says, well, you know, what if I want to stay? So both of them have kind of put their cards on the table and had these really innocent, these really vulnerable moments and open the door to uh, where to go with this thing or, or what to do with, with this area of their life, this bit of their history that won't, this chapter that hasn't ended or closed. And um, so they have, you know, great sex, young people that want to focus in on that part of the episode. They have this great night of sex and whatnot. The interesting thing coming out of this is um, where do where do where do they go with this? What happens next? 
And that's what I said. Um, a lot of us struggle with the other 23 hours and 50 minutes or 23 hours and 40 minutes or 24 hours and 30 minutes of the day when you're not engaged in, uh, you know, you're not having sex. You're not making love or getting down or whatever, Fred, you know, what do you do with that other time? And I think one thing that, that is kind of, is somewhat promising is the fact that they had this really great uh this really great talk over uh dinner and really talked about real things and, and listened to one another. They dealt with the uh the discomfort in talking through this stuff. And uh and you saw um when um when they encountered the heavier said the TSA Bay or whatever his name is and he, you know, says, we, yeah, we used to get it in. This doesn't really, Lawrence doesn't react how he normally would have reacted. We thought he did because he said, well, you have a good night. He went around the corner and came, you know, he came back and said, let's go do this walk. But then they also, you know, they have this art walk where they go and discuss more things about what, uh, they think about this and how do you react to this and what, you know, I just thought all of that was fantastic. And it it, it could be, um, it could bode well for whatever the future is. The one weird thing was that, um, is that Lawrence didn't get up to walk Issa to the door, but they have this familiarity with one another, this history. So maybe that wasn't called for but she walks down, you know, she says she's going to walk home, think things through, um, and, and so on and so forth. But, um, so we don't know what happens next. Um, was this one night in, in, in the bedroom, is it enough to spark, uh, you know, them completely rekindling the relationship? Um, and I, I guess, you know, so that's what, this sets up is what's to happen for them now, what's to happen for them next. And then um, we know that Issa and uh, Molly have a sit down in our next episode. You can check out the preview for that uh, or the snippet from that, ep the, the teaser or whatever they call it. You can check that out. The thing that's going to become interesting or the, the uh, what's going to become interesting is can Lawrence and Issa exist with uh, Issa and Molly? It's a big question. Um, I don't know if Lawrence is really affected by uh, what Chad might think. or What's the other cat's name? Derek? I don't think he's really driven by any of his male friends. And it seems like he could easily move on from Condola. Uh, you know, it seems like he can move on from that, especially knowing where she sits with their relationship, long, with the long term relationship. So, what is Molly gonna say? And has Molly learned? I don't, we don't know if she's went to see her therapist yet, but Molly probably shouldn't. Molly mentioned a couple episodes ago she was trying to establish boundaries. You know, this might be an area where there needs to be some boundaries between those two that uh, that Issa doesn't solicit any any input or feedback from Molly. But Molly might even be understanding, to be honest. Uh, and that's the thing. Molly needs to really worry about her own happiness. It's interesting that they had this discussion, Issa and... Um, and Lawrence had this discussion about happiness and establishing what works for them. And now Molly uh, is a person, is a, is a figure who really needs to work on that. So a lot of good stuff in this episode. Like I might do a live stream on it later and just con continue running my mouth on, uh, you know, my takeaways from it. But that's pretty much where I was with this episode. Uh, just like I said, a huge shout out to Natasha Rothwell for uh, for taking us here. Uh, huge shout out for uh, Issa and Prentice. What's his name? Uh, Penny Prentice Penny, the other cat, the other creative uh, 
person involved in steering the show. I'm just really glad that they've chosen to take us down this road and um, deal with some stuff that people, I hope uh, people are going to experience and have these hills and valleys, these moments to learn something uh, about real life stuff, you know, because it's other relationships in the black community besides Jay-Z and Beyonce or Barack and Michelle. Uh, in, betw in between there uh, is us. And so I think, um, I don't know, for me, it, it was just, it was, it was an awesome night of TV for me. Didn't think I'd expect to say that about uh, Insecure, but that's what they, that's where they've gone this season. Um, like I said, my name is Wood. Let me get on off of here. I went about six minutes longer than what I intended to. Um, I might do that live stream today, maybe later this week. I'll get around to it. If you subscribe to the channel and by chance hit that notification button, you will know when I'm doing that. Until then, you don't always have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great.